What's good, y'all? What's the numbers TV? It's your boy, Poe Row. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And like a video if you appreciate the content that Poe Row and What's the Numbers I provided. Today, we'll be back with another profile piece. This one is on Caesar the Abuser. In this video, we're going to talk about his early years growing up in the Dominican Republic. Then we will speak about his early entry into the drug game as a small-time dealer that would eventually become one of the Caribbean's largest cocaine traffickers by the mid-2010s. After that, we will look at the news headlines that will thrust Caesar into the national spotlight when he was falsely accused of shooting David Big Poppy Ortiz at a club in the Dominican Republic. And lastly, we will break down the huge drug case that Caesar is currently fighting after being arrested in Colombia. Caesar Emilio Peralta, better known as Caesar the Abuser, is from the Dominican Republic, which is a Caribbean nation that shares the island of Hispaniola with Haiti. Growing up as a child, Caesar would be raised in poverty as his living situation wasn't always the best, and sometimes he wouldn't even know where his next meal would come from. All the struggles that Caesar endured while a child would push him into the drug dealing lifestyle while he was still in his teens. At first, Caesar would be a small scale distributor in the 1990s for a few different drug trafficking gangs led by major Dominican drug traffickers Rolando Feliz and Pascual Martinez, whose alias was El Chino. In 2001, Caesar would be arrested on drug trafficking charges but was quickly released and didn't really serve no jail time. From there, he would have a smooth run for the next six to seven years, expanding his network along with building his network with each successful load of cocaine he had delivered to Puerto Rico and the United States. In 2008, Caesar would be arrested again after a 258 kilogram shipment of cocaine was seized in the Dominican Republic's southern province of Paravia. But nothing really came from the case as he was far enough removed from the actual shipment itself and wasn't on scene at the time that the load of cocaine was seized by the government. Up until 2013, Dominican authorities still regarded Caesar the abuser as a small scale distributor working on behalf of other traffickers. But after the capture of El Chino in late 2015 and other local bosses in 2016, Caesar stepped up to become one of the Caribbean's main traffickers. He ascended to a leadership role as the Dominican Republic was becoming a key hub for U.S. bound drugs moving through the Caribbean islands. Caesar would take over his former boss's contacts and began receiving shipments of Colombian cocaine and heroin from Venezuela, which he then sent to Puerto Rico and the U.S. mainland from the Dominican Republic. By 2017, Caesar the Abuser was allegedly transporting up to 20 kilograms of cocaine weekly from the Dominican Republic to Puerto Rico by plane, while also sending the kilos to Miami by sea. Through the success that his business was seeing, Caesar started to acquire certain lavish items as his lifestyle changed a bit. He would enjoy his money by purchasing a few different nightclubs and expensive luxury watches, but at the same time Caesar was living his best life, he started to pop up on the radar of U.S. law enforcement officials who were getting wind of him and his organization that was sending hundreds of kilos to Puerto Rico and Miami almost weekly. In April 2019, Caesar was indicted by the United States District Court for the Southern District of Florida. Although he was now wanted by the United States DEA, he was still able to lay low in the Dominican Republic through his different connections he had with law enforcement and politicians in his home state. Then in June of 2019, retired Boston Red Sox superstar David Big Papi Ortiz was shot in the back while he was sitting down having drinks at a lounge in Santo Domingo. He would live, but had to have multiple surgeries that was in the hospital for an extended period of time while he recovered. One of the first names that came up of people who could be responsible for the shooting was Caesar the Abuser. The story had legs and would be picked up by major news outlets around the world. Caesar would finally be famous outside of DR, but for all the wrong reasons. A few months later in August of the same year, Caesar was also tagged as the leader of an international drug trafficking organization by the U.S. Treasury Department under the Kingpin Act. On that same day, a team of over 700 soldiers, police officers, and prosecutors were deployed in a mass operation, which led to the arrest of three of his lieutenants in the Dominican Republic. Caesar wasn't arrested during the pre-dawn raid, as he was able to stay one step ahead of the authorities due mainly to his connections with people of power in that country that he had brought throughout the years. But one thing Caesar did realize was that it was too hot to stay in his home country of Dominican Republic and he fled to Venezuela and then Colombia as a way to lay low and avoid arrest. It seemed like a good plan, but by December of 2019, Caesar the abuser would be arrested in Colombia while he was in the exclusive Murano Ali Hotel in the Boca Grande sector 
of Cartagena. It will also come out later after an investigation that Caesar the abuser was not involved in the David Ortiz shooting. The reports say Ortiz wasn't even the intended target and it was meant for a friend he was with whose own cousin hired the hitman to kill him. So was the false story used as a tool to post Caesar's picture all across the world as they painted him out to be a drug dealing murderer or just a simple mistake? We don't really know, but currently Caesar is in prison in Colombia's capital city of Bogota and according to his lawyer, he will soon be extradited to Puerto Rico and then the United States, most likely Florida, which is where his current indictment is from. But yo, there's a quick profile piece on Caesar Emilio Peralta, better known as Caesar the Abuser out of the Dominican Republic. You know, I didn't know too much about him to the whole David Ortiz story when the, the baseball player got shot and they start showing this guy's picture. He was on hip hop sites, he was on news sites. I'm like, what the hell is this dude? You know what I'm saying? So they start showing him, he, he run the whole DR. He's sending bricks to the United States, sending bricks to Florida. He's sending dope over this way, that way. He got everybody scared. He owns a bunch of nightclubs. So I start doing my research, you know what I'm saying? Seeing what's going on with him. And I put together this story, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you know how we do it, what's the numbers? We give y'all the real story. Since everybody likes talking about all these people, all these fake stories, we try to give y'all the facts. So at least y'all can know the real story of some of these things that don't going on. So you ain't got to be all led astray and there with all these, giving all these false narratives. That's what we do with Slim TV. And that's what this profile piece was on, Caesar the Abuser. Now he ain't cop out or nothing yet. He going to, you know what I'm saying, go to trial, cop out, have it go. And we'll see what the outcome is. Maybe I'll do a, um, a touch of peace, you know what I'm saying, follow a piece as, as his case, you know, goes to trial. But like I said, man, it's a quick profile piece on Caesar the Abuser. Make sure y'all go follow the member. I mean, go join the members only. If y'all want to do that, go follow the Instagram. If y'all want to do that. Subscribe, subscribe to the channel at least, man. It's free. All you gotta do is hit the subscribe button. And like I said, man, what's numbers TV is Poe Row. Man, I ain't got too much to talk about, man. I gonna see. I gonna see the proof is in the pudding, man. I'll be back before you know it. Poe Row, what's numbers TV? We out of here. Peace.